Hello and welcome to another Megatron Lover review. Today we are having a look at a Backman model and it's just here. Let's place them on. Oh, there you go. Um, if you can probably you can probably uh, tell what it is, but if you can't, it is the Backman Network Southeast Class Two E Class Four One Six Two EPB um, Electric Multiple Unit. Now, um, you know you may be saying, Daniel, why did you just say it's a Network Southeast model when it's clearly in British Rail blue and grey? Well, it is. But with Network Southeast branding, so technically it is a Network Southeast uh, model because um, she because this is you know after when Network Southeast was just formed in 1986. But then they couldn't they obviously couldn't repaint all the units at once, so they just did it bit by bit. But so they you know they obviously did it bit by bit. But just to mark the fact that it was a Network Southeast uh, unit, they placed the logo on them. Now with the two EPBs, there were, I'm not, not entirely sure, I think there were about 20 or 25 of these built. There were quite a few of these built um, uh, in the late 1950s. And many of them were built using um, two null under freight. So two nulls were um, Southern Railway units from the 1930s. And what they did was they scrapped, they got the, um, they got the chassis of the two null scrapped the body and then just placed an entirely new body on it, on it. Um, because the traction equipment was not live expired so um, they could they could still be used um, and they were in service up until about 1994 when the uh, four EPBs were withdrawn. EPB stands for electro-pneumatic brake um, and these were the first um, EMUs in, in Britain fitted with an electro pneumatic brake. Um, well, um, were they? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know if the electric multiple units prior to that were fitted with um, electro pneumatic brakes, but what is for certain is that um, all of them were fitted with Westinghouse brakes. Even this has a Westinghouse brake, um, but how it works is that when the driver applies the brakes, um, it first is an electro pneumatic brake, but then if he um, if he slams it further in, it becomes a Westinghouse air brake. The emergency brake is is, a, is Westinghouse operated. Electro pneumatic is basically the the motors are used to slow the train down, uh, along with the brake. The electric it's basically electric, whereas the Westinghouse is an air brake. Um, and they were very, they were, they were very reliable units, and they were used on uh, London commuter runs. But anyway, let's have a look at this amazing model by Backman. Wow! Just look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Um, she has a typical Southern Railway um, look. The black triangle is only featured on the, this is the motor unit, even in real life. The other unit is the uh, driving trailer. The black triangle was only featured on the um, motor units um, and that signified where the guard's position was. So obviously the guard, guard is situated there. And then on the trailer unit where there is no guard, um, it lacks a black triangle, but that was the case with all the uh, southern region um, EMUs. Well, not, not all of them, but um, only ones which had the guards compartment at the end. Ones which didn't, such as the 421s, uh, didn't have the black triangle. The 421s and 423s had the guards compartment sort of towards the middle of the train. But yeah, um, the detail is separately fitted, as you can see these uh, what these wires here which are obviously used to connect up the brake the brake line but also the electrical connections the lights do work you get the headlight there and then the destination box which glow white when the train is coming towards you when it's going away from you it's only the destination box the head code box that um, that illuminates the headlight doesn't and the headlights were only fitted to these units during the 1980s um, when Network Southeast came along. Prior to that, they just had the 
um, head code box for illumination. As you can see, it says Kent Link on the side. Um, you've got the third rail shoe gear, and then this is the powered bogey. You do get seats inside, which is really nice. You can't really see them, but there are seats inside, and there are even little stickers on the windows which say no smoking. I think, I think it does say no smoking. Let me just check. Yep, no smoking. Yeah, which is really, really nice. And the under frame detail is really nice as well. You do get all this equipment. That's that's most likely the um, the compressor, which is obviously the the device that makes the boom, 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 that that noise, that the, that you know, that thumping noise um, to pump air into the the train systems. On the back, you do you get separately fitted um, detail and the step ladders. So obviously you can climb onto the roof. Well, only the maintenance people can climb onto the roof. But even on the roof, it does it does look very 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 realistic as well. And you get the two horns. One is uh, longer than the other because it is a two-tone horn. The buffers are not sprung, but what I did know what I did notice I was um, seeing a video recently about how to couple EMUs, and um, the buffers were when when it was um, the buffers were only used. They were only pulled out if the loco if the train was being pulled by a locomotive. Otherwise, they'd be um, pushed back and concealed. But anyway, let's have a look at the uh, trailer unit. Let's put this down. The trailer unit doesn't have a gas compartment, which is prototypical, and it also doesn't have a motor either. Um, not entirely sure what this red um, red stripe means. Definitely not first class, because these did not feature first class. But if anyone knows what the red stripe means, please comment below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, on the back, the, destin the head code box now shows two red lines to signify that this is the rear of the train. Um, once again, separately fitted wipers and separately fitted uh, pipe worker at the front. Um, seats inside. Yeah, you can't really see them, but there are seats inside, which is really, really nice. There's the coupling. And there's also a sprung buffer here, um, which is there to stop the units from, you know, just banging into each other and causing causing damage um, to one to each other's ends. Um, that's really really nice. But once again, the underframe detail is very fragile, so be careful. Don't don't start plucking this. But it's really really nice, as you can see. Yeah, there you go, it's really, really nice. This is the brake rigging, obviously. You get the third rail pickup shoes there as well. And the lights at this end work as well. So yes, overall, it is a really, really nice model. Let's just put this down. Um, actually, let's, let's look at them together. There you go. It is a really, really nice model. Um, definitely captures the look of the 1980s you know just during that time when Network South East Network South East was just formed and yeah they obviously couldn't repaint all the units at once so they just placed their branding on it to signify that it was owned by Network South East and not by you know regional railways or something <laughs> but anyway let's um, put it on the track and uh, see how she performs So here we have the Batman class 4162 EPB on the track. Now before we get her going, let's just take a look at her lights. So let's press function. There you go. As you can see the headlight lights up as does the um that's the code box or head code box rather. <laughs> yes, that lights up as well. Uh, if we run along the side of the train, you can see it has interior lights on both coaches. Oops. <laughs> and on the back, it's not noticeable, but the rear headcoat box 
um, lights up as well. If I just so I've just turned it off. See, ever so slightly, but it does illuminate. But anyway, let's give her some juice and get her going. Oh my gosh, that is extremely smooth. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, I could, I could just fall asleep. She is running that smoothly. <laughs> wow. Let's get a few shots of her running by. Wow, I have no words. Her performance is just excellent. Just to conclude this video, I highly recommend her, especially if you're a fan of the southern region and you don't have this, you must have. It is a must-have for any Southern Region fan. It's just an absolutely gorgeous multiple unit. Wow. And the performance. The performance is just speechless. Oh, no, I'm just speechless about the performance of it. It's so amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you later. Goodbye.